Hello, this is a quick tutorial on getting started with NoteFlight. NoteFlight is free in the cloud software that allows you to create 10 different songs and store them that way for free. And with the free account, you have some basic things that you can do with different instruments, as well as create MIDI recordings of the things that you have composed. So let's get going with this. This is the next step after you have created a login with NoteFlight and confirmed the account. The first thing you're going to do is to bring your mouse all the way over to the far right corner and click on the word login. As you can see, I'm a repeat user here. It has stored my login information and my password. You can choose to have your, com your personal home computer do that as well and click login and it takes me to my main page. Here at the main page you can see that I have all of these titles that are here are the names of scores that I have worked on and that I have decided to save. I can delete them by going to the uh, music note symbol clicking on this button and then I have to click delete. However, I really don't want to delete that so I'm going to uncheck it. I want to keep all of these. Here at the top, clicking on this whole note and the word note flight will take you back to this page every time. This orange box is what we're going to click in just a moment. It says new score. It will think that it's the thing that will allow us to come up with a new, uh, new score to work on here. Here you can see I have a list of my scores. One of them is public and these are just different options. Here on the left side, you'll notice it says, we hope you're enjoying your NoteFlight membership. We also offer premium plans, and that means it's, it's what's called um, NoteFlight Crescendo. It allows you to use more instruments, you have more options. It's, it's good if you decided that this is something that you really, really want to do. In, at the end of August or early September, NoteFlight offers student memberships for $20 a year, which gets you all of these free things at a much reduced price. So if you decide that this is a software that you really like and you'd like to continue using, I suggest waiting until their student sale. Let's go ahead and create a new score so that I can get going with this tutorial. Click New Score. And the first thing that will happen is it will take you to this portal. This is the way it looks every single time. NoteFlight assumes that you're going to be using a piano to create all of your music. Pianists read two lines of music at the same time. The top line, which I've just highlighted here, is the right hand of the piano. You'll notice that it's in treble clef. That's the higher clef. And then the bottom line, which I've highlighted here, is the bass clef or the left hand of the piano. You can add more lines above and below if you mouse over just kind of in the corner of the score you can click a plus this little plus sign it'll let you add more parts and here it shows you all of your options you've got bass, violin, viola, and cello you can do guitar, guitar tab, electric bass, and electric bass tab, woodwinds, brass, unpitched percussion, pitched percussion, and then keyboards, which is piano. You click on the one that you want, click OK, and it will put that there for you. I'm going to undo that for now because that's an awful lot to look at. If you get here and you decide that you don't want to compose in both the treble and bass clef at the same time, you can delete one or the other. Highlight the line. See how when you mouse over here, these little gray boxes pop up. Highlight one line, click delete. It'll get rid of whichever line you've highlighted. From here, you can enter in your notes. The musical alphabet goes from A to G, and then when you get to G, you start all over with A again. Note Flight allows you to manually click on a place on the staff and enter in the note, or 
to type it in by letter name. And I just typed in the letter A, and that's the note that came up. I can get rid of them by hitting delete. Whatever is in highlighted in red will be deleted. So I'm going to start here at A and show you what the musical alphabet looks like. That was A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Sorry, I'll go one more note. A. This is now, um, this is a, what we call a two octave range, meaning it spans through eight notes twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's my first octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, I skipped one, seven, eight. Now you'll notice I was able to grab the note head and drag it up and down. Let me show you. Instead, maybe I don't know which note I want to put in there, and I want to change it to be a certain sound. Maybe I'm composing a song, and I know it wants to, I want it to sound like this, but I don't know the name of my next note. I just kind of want to hear what it sounds like. Maybe that's not the note I'm looking for. Maybe I'm looking for this one, or this one, or this one. I can also move my mouse anywhere I want it to be. I play my composition by going to this little red bo bottom button, sorry, in the bottom left hand corner. Notice that a little, little box pops up that says play stop. I click play. And it will play it back for me. I can also make it play by clicking one of the little red arrows here. It will start on any measure I want it to. Have fun composing using quarter notes. My next tutorial, tutorial will show you how to use whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, thirty-second notes, and sixty-fourth notes, as well as their corresponding rests. In other tutorials, we will also talk about using sharps, naturals, and flats. Good luck!